transferable philosophical skills derived from the potent, unadulterated ancient paradigms without another people's twist to make them look good. These are principles and philosophies, principles, philosophical skills, transferable, universal, convertible. They are transferable, universal, convertible, and translatable skills. Okay, just like martial arts skills. You see how the philosophies are connected? How these things are one? You can't be the Pharaoh of Egypt without being acknowledged as the top martial artist. And you think black guys sat there watching Jewish media to determine it? No, they sparred. And they wrestled. And they separated the two. Because one is a martial way and one is a martial art. Fighting skills are martial arts. Wrestling is an application or a way. It's a path you can take from martial arts. It starts with the fighting skills. They went that way with it. That way with it. The, the gays took it and went to the UFC. They went this way, that way. Hollywood and the gays and the media, you know, took it, funded it, and, and, and uh, gave it media attention and made the UFC. You see what I'm saying? Let's put these sexy warriors in tight spandex thongs and have them wrestle in homoerotic positions. Now, I'm not saying the UFC fighters are gay. I'm not saying that. Number one, slap the person who thinks that I'm saying they're all gay. I'm saying they're behaving in a way that's gay. And just like we're all behaving in a way that's satanic to a certain degree, because to a certain degree, we accept conformity. That's why I say transcend. Number two, I'm not saying that every gang member, or every soldier is a bitch. Just because they don't have the moral will to go against the grain doesn't mean they're a complete coward. There's varying degrees of courage. It takes more courage to go against everyone than it does to fight on the winning team. Okay? So I demand that you respect me above them. This is logic African style. No brainer. Plus, I am fighting for God. The only way to have courage is to fight for God. You understand? And honor Anything else is fighting for your complex. Give me that. That's mine. But for your being greedy, that's mine. Take that. Ha ha. I told you I could take it from you. That's a greedy little sniveling coward in a secret society using his network to bully people. I am not going to respect that. I am not going to acknowledge that. And I'm not going to sit here while you're trying to make my people see it your way. Fuck you. I am Sagiti, the top. And if any of you have a problem with that, beat me in traditional, the most common form of martial art competitions to determine fighting skills. Like it says on my plaque, hold that thought. $4,000 top martial arts challenge champion. Sparring shows transferable skills for actual combat arts or actual martial arts, not Sports fighting, because you wanted to argue semantics, some of you trying to get me all confused and shit. Well, why do they call them fighters? Look, we'll call it combat arts. We'll call it martial arts. It's like, look, what it's referring to is fighting skills. Read the book, okay? Fighting for Honor. Read the acknowledgments. Okay, look at Master He El Cho, martial art Hall of Famer. These are fighting skills. That's why the emphasis on sparring. That's why you get close to the combat as honorably possible. As possible according to your honor. You don't care about their law. You think martial arts care about their law? When he says as close to the real thing as possible, he's not talking about the white oppressor's law or the, the, the Axis law during World War II when he, I believe he said he grew up in Korea in the streets. He's not talking about that. I mean, you know, in the streets learning to be a, you know, actual warrior, you know? He's talking about combat arts. So when you come into my world and try to tell me, the top martial artist, what to think how to believe, and what you want me to say, and, and how martial arts should be done, when I am consistent by the book according to the experts, and then you're going to turn around and start falsifying evidence, uh, that's, that's coming, that's coming, you know, and, and you say that you're the experts. No, no, my ancestors are the experts. Whose expert power do you black people respect more? Our ancestors, the Ebos, the Angolans, and so on, who came here and conquered everyone else and ran the streets in a foreign land? And whites and, and other races scared to step foot and disrespect their martial art culture? Ask anyone in Brazil. Did martial artists not historically run these fucking streets? Capoeistas and somewhere they still do. Some places they still do. Ask them. Ask them.
So don't you sit there like we didn't run that motherfucker just like the ancient world, nigga. Don't you sit there. Whose expert power do you black people respect? Ours or theirs? Period. I don't care what science they use. I don't care what media outlet they use. I don't care if it's socially normative or not. That's what it boils down to. Whatever tricks they want to play versus our truth. Which side are you on? Trick or fucking treat? Operate conditioning bitch shit? Halloween occult new world order pussy? Enlightenment era Illuminati fucking scum? Spiritual bottom feeder dogs? Or man of God, martial artist in defiance, Bob Marley style. Marcus Garvey style, you bitch ass niggas, except for with pure martial arts culture is my argument. No Western influences, no lack of source of knowledge, information age, you motherfuckers. Big Mac, look! Any motherfucking questions? So on behalf of my ancestors, I demand, not just kindly insist, that you do it our way. Because you're using our arts. And you're not going to disrespect us like that.